Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and of course a lot of you have been asking me are there any little details, little things that there are to know about 1909. Like I said it doesn't have a lot of new features but there's a few little things that they have changed or improved upon. One is the um, troubleshooting options that have automatic recommendations that you can either do or not depending on the usage of your PC and this goes through the Windows Update page. So once of course you go into your settings and you check your Windows Update, um, of course when you are on the latest update you will see that fe feature update to version 1909 is installed and <clears throat> this means that when you go to the troubleshooting options in the left side panel you will have recommended troubleshooting. Now what this does is that if you run a recommended troubleshooter and have problems or anything is happening, there will be updates to what is recommended and what you can actually do on the PC. So of course recommended troubleshooting settings are here and this is basically uh, kind of an update. They kind of check it out, check out the problems you have. If you've ran some troubleshooters before, it will try to fix um, and sometimes it does work, sometimes it fails. At some point there will be some recommended stuff. They will tell you uh, and this will be updated dynamically, meaning that not only will it give you a recommended troubleshooting option, but it will also update itself maybe a few weeks later you'll have a little pop-up it's gonna say oh by the way we have new recommendations for troubleshooting because when you troubleshoot with the different uh, options here the tools that are available some of that data is sent back to Microsoft so that they can check out why something isn't working right and uh, basically this means that they will actually maybe find a way to circumvent or you know improve upon this troubleshooting option so that means the message that you get there might actually change at some point and of course you always have the ability or the possibility to accept or uh, just say no I don't want to have that troubleshooting option um, you know sometimes troubleshooting doesn't mean that there's a problem sometimes it might say or think there's a problem when in reality it actually works okay so uh, this is what is um, available here. So new or improved troubleshooting options, hopefully, hopefully, they will improve upon uh, the help that you might have in Windows 10 if you have a problem uh, within the operating system. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.